So making money vlogging is a little bit different than other styles of content on YouTube. So in this video, we've got five strategies on how to make money vlogging coming up. This video is brought to you by vidIQ, the number one Chrome extension for YouTubers looking for on-point data analysis, research resources, and enhanced video creator tools. Start getting more views in less time today by signing up for free at vidIQ.com slash influence. That's vidIQ.com slash influence. Hey, what's up, Sean here. Benji here. And this is Video Influencers, helping you build your influence, income, and impact with online video. On this channel, we've got weekly tips and trick videos, as well as interviews with some of the top influencers. So if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. So if you've been around this channel for very long, you know we have talked about how to earn money on YouTube quite a bit, but never really from the perspective of vlogging. And in this video, we're gonna be covering five strategies that don't include Google AdSense. Now, a lot of people know you can make money with YouTube ads, Problem is you need a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time to even get considered for that program. But here's the good news. The strategies in this video, you can apply right now. So let's jump into them. Strategy number one, merchandise. You know, what I love about this strategy is even if you only have one fan, you can start selling merch. For example, shirts, you know, I'm a vlogger and I talk about green juice all the time. So I've got a lot of fans of green juice. So I made a green juice shirt and I was able to sell that fairly quickly because I had built content around a specific topic, was able to make money through merchandise. Yeah, and you can use a site like Teespring, you know, part of the influencers community is Got Love, and they just put some shirts together that are about their vlog, put them up on Teespring, and you only actually print them when someone buys them, so you don't have to have any inventory, and you can start making some sales and income immediately, really simple, with a site like that. Strategy number two, affiliate marketing. Now, if you don't know what this is, this is where you actually get a little bit of commission from referring a product. We love using Amazon affiliates. And a great example of this, you know, I'm juicing with my family in my vlogs. A lot of people are asking, what juicer are you using? What blend are you making smoothies with? If I put the link down in the info box and they actually click on it and buy that device or juicer or blender, I get a little bit of that affiliate commission and that's a great way to make money. And two quick power tips here is stay on message for your channel and also give calls to action. So you probably noticed with Benji that in the first tip, he had green juice shirts. Then you hear that in affiliate marketing, it's related to green juice and blending. There's something more powerful than just doing random tactics when it comes to earning money and actually staying connected to your values, your message, and the things your audience really knows you for and what you really love. And then the second tip is is make sure to give a call to action. So when he's juicing, when they're in the kitchen, he might say, and hey, if you're curious about what blender we're using, I'll link it up in the YouTube description below so you guys can check it out. If your audience doesn't know the link is there, then they will never find it, so you'll never build your income. And we're actually not gonna cover affiliate marketing in depth in this video. So if you wanna learn about how to do it, how to set it up and get started immediately, we'll link to a playlist on the YouTube card and in the description below with our affiliate marketing series. Strategy number three, sponsorships. You know, one of the things that a lot of people know about YouTube is people get sponsored. If a brand or a company pays you to talk about their product, their service, you can get sponsored, get paid. You know, and I say a dollar save is a dollar earned. So even if you can't get paid, what if you get free products? Again, going back to the green juice example, you know, because I'm juicing a lot, a lot of green juice or juicer companies want to send me their juicers for free. Again, I'm not getting paid, but because I don't have to pay for that juicer, I'm actually saving money and that's just as good as making money. And so I hope you're seeing a theme here about really figuring out core messages that are parts of your vlogs and then doing those. So again, green juice, when you build out a brand of the things you love, the products you love to use consistently in your vlogs, you could start working with companies. Yeah. And as your channel grows, you can also look at marketplaces like famebit.com and they connect brands with influencers like yourself and eventually you need to get like 5,000 subscribers to start with them but now it's a marketplace where you could find even other sponsorship deals for your vlogs. Strategy number four, promote your current business. You know, we have a friend, John Kohler, who's actually one of the most well-known gardeners on YouTube and a lot of people don't know, he has this side business called discountjuicers.com. 
A lot of people who are watching his videos are health conscious, they're into gardening, fruits and vegetables, and because they're interested in that, they're probably gonna be juicing, and he has a side business where he actually recommends and sells juicers on his website. So ask yourself, how can you use your vlog to promote the things you're doing in your everyday life, especially if you're doing business, and maybe that's real estate that you're doing, or maybe you're doing fitness, and you could build your vlog around that to promote that business. Another tip would be network marketing. And we have friends that are promoting companies like Essential Oils with Young Living or Beachbody doing fitness on YouTube, tying their vlog into it, building their teams, selling products with something that they love and using YouTube to increase that influence. We were talking off camera about Lulu Roo, which yeah. or Lulu Ra or Lulu Ro. Lulu Ro. Okay. <laughs> Lulu Row, which is a clothing distribution network marketing company. And again, if you have a lifestyle Instagram, a lifestyle vlog, you could be using those channels of influence to be furthering the business that you're doing on YouTube with vlogging. Strategy number five, sell your content. One of the things you forget as a vlogger is you're creating a lot of content and you're getting great at producing content, recording, editing, putting it out there, engaging with people, and that is so valuable for business. So don't forget that it costs a lot of money for not just a business, but anybody to create content. So as a vlogger, consider the value you bring to the table with the video itself. Yeah, such a great example of this is our friend Traveling Jules, who travels the world full time, uses social media to promote out her content, but you might be surprised, she doesn't have a million subscribers, she doesn't have 100,000, she has a relatively small audience, but because she's developed her skills of storytelling, video production, writing and shooting, she is really a one woman band, if yeah. you will, for creating content and travel boards, travel agencies wanna work with her because of the content she's creating that they can share on their own social media platform. So never forget, you are a video influencer, yeah. you're a video creator, and your skills that you're developing right now, you can begin to build those and then sell those to companies to build your income. Bam! Lastly, the point you wanna make is, you know, a lot of people rely on the AdSense income to create income revenue, right? To make money. But these five tips are something you can start doing right away. So explore these and ask yourself, what is it I'm already doing that can help boost uh, income for, or where can I find more income opportunities with some of these strategies for the things that you already love talking about and recording about? Question of the day. Have you started earning money as a vlogger yet? And do you have any tips or creative ways for building income as a vlogger? Let us know in the comment section below. So thanks for checking out this video. Subscribe and ring the bell if you haven't yet. And if you wanna check out our sponsor for this video, vidIQ, they have a killer YouTube channel. Just click or tap the screen right there to go over to watch some training for another video from Video Influencers. Click or tap the screen right there. Until next time, keep crushing it. We will talk soon.